Yo, fam, what's good with you? Look, fam, look, this is just a quick uh, public service announcement from your boy. Look, fam, check out the 2A NLA official merchandise store. We got some of the hottest gear out there, whether it's your right to bear arms cap or your 2A NLA love guns cap or that love guns tumbler that's no joke and for you more sophisticated folks you know you got that love guns wine chiller all right if you look down in the description of the video you'll see the link to the official 2a nla store 100 percent of the proceeds from the store go directly back into the channel to bring you better content all right thanks let's get this video rolling What's good with you? It's your boy 2A in LA and as always fam, anything I say in this episode, prior episodes and future episodes, it's just my personal opinion. Don't take it as fact. Don't take it as law. Always do your homework and come up with your own conclusions. Right about now fam, I should go ahead and tap that like button for your boy. If you're new to the channel and want to say welcome, come on in. You can join the congregation by smashing that subscribe button and requesting all post notifications. And if you are an existing supporter of this channel, fam, fam, I appreciate you more than you can possibly imagine. You are the reason this channel is anything. So look fam, we got a little unboxing today. And look fam, I know you saw it in the intro, but look, just as a, a, a a hint, a word of advice. Anytime you see that on a case, it's pressure. It's pressure about to come. <laughs> That's all I'm trying to say, fam. It's major pressure about to come your way. So look, fam, we're going to get into uh, talking about the gun and the unboxing in a second. But before I do, I think it's important that I highlight two entities within the gun manufacturing community that are really, really trying to push the envelope from their perspectives. And when they combine together, it really, really is magic. So V7, which some, you know, I think most uh, people who are really, really absorbed into the 2A community, particularly AR-15 community, know about V7. Uh, V7 sells very high-end, lightweight um, AR-15 parts, uppers, etc., lowers. And a lot of people who build use V7 parts uh, for their builds. But they make outstanding whole rifles. And you take V7, who is making incredible rifles on their own, and then you add... A multiple time world champion three gun shooter like Taryn Butler and you take what they do to tune guns for shooting on their platform and then you combine these two minds together you get incredible results now if you watch the channel before you know this is not the first time that V7 and Terran tactical have hooked up in fact if you watch John Wick 4, this bad boy right here was prominently displayed. And this, of course, is the V7 Terran Tactical uh, 
Harbinger chambered in 308 and fam. This is one of the most <laughs> softest shooting uh, 308s you are going to find out there on the marketplace. And I've, you know, reviewed this gun um, many times uh, on the channel in terms of reviews, in terms of unboxing, in terms of, you know, collection videos and long distance shooting, etc. So I've highlighted that rifle before. So knowing how great this combination is, imagine how I ex how excited I was when my guys at Covert said V7 and Terran Tactical had reconnected to produce one of the most lightweight AR-15s out there. Uh, one of the most lightweight, softest shooting, best shooting AR-15s out there. I was ecstatic. I wasn't even in the market for an AR-15. You guys know I've got my Daniel Defense DDM4 M4A1. I've got my Radian Weapons Mod 1. Uh, also have a couple other AR-15s. So I really wasn't even in the market. But when I found out these two were pairing up. Now, now Taryn had come out in partnership with Air Precision to produce his own AR-15 before. Which I thought was great. I just felt like I liked the Radian Mod 1 better. I felt like the componentry used in the Mod 1 uh was better i found it just that soft as shooting uh i found it just as accurate um i think the arrow gun with taran was lighter weight uh but yeah i i i like that rifle if i didn't already have the m4a1 if i didn't already have the radio mob one i might have picked that one up but fam when i heard he, he partnered with v7 i was like oh that's what we doing that's what, that's what we doing, Terran Tackle. That's what we doing, V7. I've been talking about it enough. Let me just let you check it out. Fam, what I'm going to need you to do is stop playing with your boy. Look, fam, I, I don't... Look, we're going to dive into the details. I just want you to really, really... I want to know if you can smell what the rock is cooking. Fam. <laughs> okay, look, fam. So, look. Let's kind of walk you through it again. This gun, and I will put up the specs shortly. But in terms of weight, and I don't remember the exact weight, but I, it's around five pounds. It's nothing. It's not, <laughs> look how I'm handling It's nothing. It's nothing. V7 just makes some of the lightest weight firearms out there. So the gun, if you got a magnesium handrail, again, I'll put up the specs and everything so you know how it's set up. But the gun is incredibly lightweight. You got that big brake on the front fan that makes it incredibly soft shooting. And you got that hyper trigger in there, which is the same hyper trigger that's on that uh, Terran Tactical uh, Six Hour MPX that I have. Fam, I love this trigger. It is so fast, right? You got the BCM stock. Of course, Terran puts his logo on the stock because he wouldn't be Terran if he wasn't Terran. <laughs> of course, he has his logo right there, right there. He's got that gold um, bolt uh, with the V on it. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's got that V on it for V7 fam. Look, it's got a really oversized charging handle, ambidextrous on both sides, which for tactical purposes is probably not the best. But if you're shooting competition, uh, and really I think that's what this gun is going to be used for. It's going to be a competitive shooting gun. It's going to be... A range hammer gun um, and so for that purpose I think it's great because it's just super easy to uh, get a grip uh, get a hold of it and look fam I didn't do hardly anything to this gun the one thing I did do is I added an optics package to it and in doing so I didn't want to take anything away from 
from what the seven and Taryn had done. So we added that Scalar Works mount. We'll let you guys check out that Scalar Works mount. This is that uh, Scalar Works Lead 08. We added uh, the 45, actually, I don't know if it's 45 degree angle, but I'll put it up there, uh, side mount to it with the Trigicon AccuPoint and the Trigicon RMR to really, really set this rifle up the right way. And I, I found, I think I did a great job with the optics package. And so look fam, I haven't shot it. It's just an unboxing. We're gonna get this bad boy out on the range. And we're going to make it do what it do. But yeah, fam, this is called uh, the V7 Terran Tactical Sovereign. That's what they named the rifle. And fam, I just think it's beautiful. Uh, if you want to find out a little bit more about the Sovereign, um, Honest Outlaw, I thought, did a great review on it. Like I said, I haven't got mine out yet. But in between the time that... Uh, my review comes out where I'll do the full point system and give you footage of me shooting it. If you want to hear what Honest Outlaw thinks about the Sovereign, definitely go check out his review. But fam, this gun is sex E. And like I said, it is stupid lightweight, fam. This, I mean, it's nothing. <laughs> it's nothing, fam. It is so lightweight. Like, it is incredible but look fam we're gonna be doing a detailed review uh, in the review we're gonna be we we'll have a lot of shooting footage with it um, I'll probably take it out the same time I take out my mod one so I can compare kind of both of them side by side um, we're definitely gonna be diving into the materials used and the specs uh, on the gun and we're definitely gonna put it through my point rating system the fam it's coming up roses right now. <laughs> it's coming up roses right now. All right? That's it for this episode, fam. Until next time, as always, I want you guys to take care of one another. And peace.